okay, I just have all the coils working together here. So 4.72 UF cap on the frequency. And uh, here's the current measurements. Input 310 milliamps. And 80 on the output and put voltage output voltage and that's just what the coils running all together going to change the cap no lower frequency I've reduced the frequency all the way down to 333 hertz. A couple caps are parallel together. When I stop the motor and just leave it on, on the on position, it's at 333 hertz. The same as what it's at right now. It's changing a little bit, but not much. Here's the output. the output I'm measuring right now. Two hundred and ninety milliamps at uh, fifty seven four seven. That's I've uh, reduced the voltage here a bit. I used to have that one in there. The input voltage right there, 1331, so measure the current. Four hundred and ninety on the highest. Let's do the math here quick. times one four nine six watts six point five watts going in and now uh, where's the other one highest one is three hundred and ten milliamps At 57.47 57.47 times 0 0.31 17.8 Then the frequency is 55 So divide that by 5 and times it by 60, that's how many RPMs. Six hundred and sixty RPMs. That's at a way lower frequency. That's the analog meter on the input. And the output battery is rising quite fast, actually. And that's uh, with just this coil reversed. The other three are working together. At 
Just a quick update. Show the difference you can do with the frequencies. Should still get the same effect. I don't know if it works without the driver circuit or not. I haven't tried it. What's really interesting here, and you can see on the scope, is you can see the sine wave clearly on the sine wave on the scope. That's the north-south magnets. You can see it in the center right there. Which is nice. See how clean it is. But well, thanks for watching, guys. Just a quick update. Hey, guys. So this is 12 hours later. Sped up quite a bit. 58 hertz now. Well, not that much. I think it was 55 or so before. Can't remember completely. That's the voltage of the battery here now. 57.67. That's the input battery. Right here. And here's the currents. Do a reading here again. So at the lowest point on this one, it's 390 milliamps, the lowest ones, right here. Measure the input now. Ten millivolt or ten milliamp setting. That's the output, that's the input, that's the input voltage, and that's the output voltage. It's went up from uh, fifty seven point four seven to fifty seven. It's trying to go to six seven right now. The motor sped up a little bit. Here's the analog current meter on the input. Let's go quick update. It's charging pretty fast. Hi guys, so this is about eight hours later again. Another quick update before I go to bed. I'm just gonna leave this on. So here's the input voltage, not uh, battery like before, and here's the output voltage, 57.8 volts. Like I said before, I used to have this one in here at the beginning of the video, but I switched it out for one last cell. These are all 6500 mil milliamp hour batteries, cells, and they're actually underrated. They test out to be quite a bit higher capacity than that. Here's the input voltage or not voltage current here. The highest point here is 510 millivolt or 51 millivolts so is 510 milliamps on the highest settings. Highest marks here. Check the output now. So the highest ones are about the same as before. A couple that stand out a little higher. So 390 
for some of the taller ones. Go down to some of these shorter ones here, just to see. So you're looking at 280 milliamps up here. And that's at uh, 333 hertz. I haven't touched nothing. The frequency is still pretty close to where it was before. Input voltage hasn't moved. That's the current on the input with the analog meter. wanted to do an update with this and be it for this video. So I've tuned it to 333 hertz here now. I had to change the timing just a hair and this coil was moved just a tiny bit. This is still the one that is reversed. Just a small amount of tuning to get it to do what it's doing. And it's about three times. The output is about three times higher than the input. But thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. I've been really busy lately. And I'll probably be busy into the new year. So, sorry about the slower videos. But I have a lot of other things that are going to be coming out here, so... I know these are repetitive videos, like I always keep showing the same stuff, but this is kind of important. So, hope you guys enjoy anyways. Thanks for watching.